How to politely reject classmates that are constantly asking for my help. I am in a situation where I am overwhelmed by schoolmates constantly asking for my help for their assignments and tests. They have been doing this since grade 10. And this has resulted in serious consequences on my health and school. I am constantly helping other people and left no time for the well-being of myself. Recently, my grades have worsened relative to my usual grades and my health has seriously deteriorated. To tackle this, I want to shrink my help circle and helping my close friends only. Which means rejecting other people. And I want to do this as politely as possible, however, I am struggling to come up with appropriate responses. I define appropriate in terms of how unsatisfied they are. Most of them seem unhappy once I decline. Some of my responses, more or less, are like, look, I am very busy at the moment, maybe go and talk to Greg. He can help. Listen, I had a rather emotional day so I will appreciate enormously if you could leave me in peace. Look not now, as you can tell I am very busy. I want to own my choices. I want to let them know that I am not obligated to help them in any way. I want to get appreciated. My goal is to come up with a response where I can decline them without damaging the relationship between me and them as well as hinting to them that I do not want to help in the future. I want a response that doesn't project my ego too aggressively. If that makes any sense. Your goal to come up with a response where you can decline their requests without damaging the relationship may not be attainable. These people have come to rely on you to help them for assignments and tests. That is what the relationship consists of. They love you for your free and reliable services. They will be nice to you all semester in return for this while you want to be loved for being you, no strings attached. I come to this conclusion because you are already being firm with your boundaries. Based on your examples, I can see that you are gently but firmly telling them to get help elsewhere, that you are unable to help them. You are even telling them who might be able to help them instead of you, i.e. Greg. For some reason, they trust and value your services. What most people in the service industry do to keep things manageable is put a price on their services. Inform them that from now on you will be charging for your services and set the fee just a bit higher than most are willing to pay. Maybe you feel such an action is too aggressive. On the other hand, these people have already stolen your health and your grades with their demands for your free services. If this is not the time to stand up and fight for your rights in some way or another, I'm not sure when that time is. I'm not suggesting to charge your close friends whom you want to help, just these other people who won't go, ask Greg for help, as you suggest. Another suggestion, just look them in the eye and say, no, sorry, I can't. No apologies, no excuses, just the blunt hard truth spoken clearly, firmly, but in a friendly tone. You may have to repeat it a few times till people get the message. It may seem less aggressive than charging for your services. The consequences may be the same, people drifting away with regards to friendships. That will leave you more time for your own assignments and studies and close friends. It seems you may also need time to recuperate from health issues so that having fewer friends may not be a bad thing right now. What you don't need is free loaders. As for friends in the next stage of your life, I would not expect these people to be around even to bid you the time of day when they no longer need your services. I base that opinion on many a person's story of life after high school, especially if one person went on to higher education while the others did not. My point, don't sacrifice too much in the hopes that you will have friends for life by helping them now. The world is full of people and you will meet some of them after you finish with this part of your education.